Hey everyone, this is Dave from A Couple Travelers, and I want to talk about removing plugins from your home page. Now, if you're a WordPress user, you're probably familiar with plugins and what they are, uh, but you'll probably also know that certain plugins are just not necessary for every page. Uh, some plugins are just meant for posts or articles or things like that, and to have them loading on your home page when you don't need them is just kind of bad coding. It can slow down your website, it can conflict with other plugins. So we're going to show you a tool that can help you get rid of these. Now the plugin we're going to get rid of today, specifically from my home page, is the plugin called Comment Love. Uh, Comment Love is a plugin uh, which is basically this guy where if somebody writes a comment they can uh, link to a post that they just recently wrote. Uh, clearly this is not something that's necessary for my home page because my home page doesn't have comments. Um, uh, you can take a look through uh, you know, W3 validation service to kind of see the code here and you'll see if when I look at my home page it's loading here, the script is loading for the JavaScript is loading and the CSS is loading as well probably somewhere here uh, let's see what, which one is that CSS. All right, it's somewhere. It's somewhere around here. I forget exactly what it uh, what it's called, but it, it's uh, also being loaded here, and we don't really need that. Um, so in order to basically uh, figure out how to get rid of uh, the plugin from a specific page, first we need to identify how it's being loaded. So we, if we go to plugins and then we go to editor, it gives us access to all the code of all our uh, different plugins here. So this one we're looking at is comment love. Now what you need to figure out is you need to figure out how it, the script or the style is being loaded. Um, most of the time, you know, 90% of the time, this is going to be in the .php file. It will probably be one of the first ones. Um, it's definitely going to end in .php because that's where you load scripts like .js and .css. So in this case, what we found is that the script was being loaded here with this little function, WordPress onQueue script. This is a function that specifically loads JavaScript uh, files and you need to capture the handle. The handle is basically the name that is used to identify the script. Uh, in this case, it's going to be this guy here, so it's comment love. So it's being loaded with on queue and the handle is comment love. So now what we need to do is we need to go into our custom functions. So we go to appearance and we go to editor. Then we go to theme functions. And we have a function here that uh, I basically was able to find some code online and get this and kind of piece it together. And essentially it kind of looks like this guy. And it's called deregister styles. Uh, so basically it's a way of deregistering or dequeuing scripts and styles. So what we would do here is I'll basically I'll put this in the description and I'll link to the post where it has but we'll write this function and then we will use the reverse function so normally we were doing w on q script now we're going to do w d q script and we're going to put in the handle here now I have it commented out so it isn't working uh, but when we basically put it back in you'll see that once I update this file um, and then I need to empty my caches just to make sure that you know it's, uh, it's not already preloading uh, specific um, scripts and styles. So I have to do that for uh, my W3 total cache as well as my Cloudflare. And then when I go over to my home page again and I revalidate it, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So then I revalidate it, and if I search for comment love, you can see it is no longer there. So it's basically been removed from our homepage. And we can do that for essentially any plugin that is uh, loading kind of styles or scripts uh, via these functions. They'll either be using W register style or script, in which case we need to deregister it, or they'll be using W on queue style or script, in, in which case we need to dequeue it. And then you just input the handle, and then this function gets pasted um, exactly just right into your theme functions. And then, you know, just make sure to remember to purge your cache and you should be good to go. And you'll find that the plugins are still loading on, you know, the original uh, kind of articles where they, where they need to be. Uh, see, it's still here, 
on uh, on this uh, post that I wrote because the way this function is designed, it's it's uh, if is home. Uh, so this this only happens if we're talking about the home page, and that can be used not even just for the home page, but really for any page uh, or category or anything that you're that you're looking for. But I feel like the home page is where it's most relevant. So, anyways, I hope that was useful. If uh, it's not entirely clear, take a look at the article that I wrote, and it also walks through it and it walks through the code, and you guys will be good to go. Thanks.